quick thank yous. I want to give thank you to uh, everybody that came out. So you guys to start. Uh, everyone, uh, all the bands that played, especially The Artist Life and uh, The Flatliners. Uh, it's not easy for bands uh, at that level to come up with something like this, so it's awesome that they would. Uh, and uh, we're truly grateful for that. And a special thank you for some of anyone of the, uh, the Skinner family that came out. That's, that's awesome. So, as it was just said, uh, Mr. Tidditch is a teacher at the school, and uh, a good friend of Chris has wanted to uh, wanted to give a speech right now, right before the Flatliners played, and then, uh, but uh, he's uh, he's not here, so Griffin's gonna Griffin's gonna read you uh, Mr. Tidditch's speech. All right, I promise it's almost as good as the Flatliners. All right, all right, this is from the desk of Tidditch. They say that you can have a conversation with the great writers of our world by reading their words and immersing yourself in the worlds that they have created. The same is true for Chris Skinner. Only with him he must be experienced in order to be understood. When I want to feel his presence, I watch a set at Fred that was posted on YouTube last year. I turn up the volume and let his voice fill the room, taking over the space, bringing me to him. His face and movements are those of a young man lost in the sound and story of his song. It is such a pure move moment. Like that moment at Fred, it is impossible to interrupt Chris, to ask him a question or tell him something. To do that would be to claim his moment, to shatter the life that flowed through his body, his voice, and out into the world. We all now try to claim a bit of Chris. We all now try to claim a bit of Chris, as impossible as it is. How many of us have sat on that bench and tried to make sense of what happened such a short time ago? We memorialize him in stories and lessons, photographs and toasts. We try and make him ours, when really he would hate that. I see him everywhere, sunglasses and leather jacket on. For me, I always picture him with his coffee. As hard as it, as it is to talk about Chris in the past tense, I make sure that my younger students know of him. And a school teacher, and a school teachers become the fixed points as students only stay a short time before moving on. I am happy that it still hurts to think about him. I like that his loss is still raw. A show for Chris is a fitting way to feel his presence. Corey McLaughlin has put together an outstanding event that must continue for years to come. What most of us wouldn't give to see Chris on the stage again. Lanky, philosophic, <laughs> truly hip. And yet he is. It is not for us to try and define him to capture him and label him. All we can do is watch in wonder and feel the freedom that he loved. Chris Skinner has to be experienced, so close your eyes and feel his presence. Wow. All right, so just give these guys a couple more minutes and uh, we'll get going. They need no introduction, this is the Flatliners.